Hey guys, Jason here with day 13 of my college vlog. As you'll notice, I am pre-recording the sound. I'm not actually taking a video of it on my phone this time, so sorry about that if you like looking at me and looking at my mug. Um, anyway, I just got back from the Taste of Colorado, and uh, really there's like four things I want to talk about. I'll go through it in the most logical order as I can. Um, but I just got back from the Taste of Colorado, and, uh, it runs, I, I believe, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, or maybe it's Saturday, Sunday, Monday, or something like that. No, no, it's Friday through Monday. Anyway, and today is Saturday, the 3rd of September, and, uh, it's a pretty cool thing. If you don't know what it is, just Google it, you know, just look it up, and you'll find out about it. Uh, they have live music, um, we watch the karaoke uh, local radio station hosts a karaoke booth, and uh, or a stage, I guess. And it's pretty fun. There were some funny people who were awful, um, and then there's a couple people who were actually really decent. I mean, you can hear that it's definitely them singing, not you know another vocal track because they do make you know slight mistakes on tone or something, but it is still pretty entertaining. Uh, but it started out cool. So I wore pants instead of shorts today, and I had a shirt over my shirt. But, uh, it got hot. I mean, not super hot, but because it's downtown in that type of an environment, it's always, you know, warmer. Or at least it feels warmer. It's not like you're in grass or an open area. It's, you know, asphalt and cement, and it's very hot. But, uh, so there you go. So we stayed there probably about five hours, which is a long time. I was not expecting to stay there that long, but we did. Um, and, uh, that's because, you know, I mean, I had no school today. No school this weekend, of course, no school on weekends for me, and no school Monday, because, well, it's Labor Day. Anyway, uh, so yeah, no school. I don't even have any homework or anything to do tonight or tomorrow, which is awesome. But, at the Taste of Colorado, I met up with a friend, Jordan, and, uh, she's cool, uh, she wanted to hang out, so I, you know, I said, well, I'm going down there today. She's like, oh, because she never really went before. And so she met us down there. We hung out with her for a while. She was there almost the entire duration, maybe minus an hour, so for about four hours, really. And uh, I started talking to her about a book I wrote that I wanted her to read but never got the chance to um, because she moved and all that kind of stuff. So it just never happened, and she got a job, and uh, she got serious with her boyfriend and everything. So it, I mean, it was just a big, um, busy time, I guess, for her. So just, it, it never happened. Uh, but I'll be having her read that soon, and uh, this is the third thing I'm talking about now is, uh, it's only in manuscript form. I typed it up, I, I'm sure I still have the file somewhere, I'm not sure in what computer but I do have it. Uh, it's a word file called Time Draws on Mentality by Jason Martineau. That would be me. And uh, it's a 40-page manuscript, 12 font, single-spaced. Um, it does have spacing for chapter titles. But what it is, it's basically a biography of my life from kindergarten up through DeVry, when I was going to DeVry. So it's not exactly current right now, but it's through that time period, and, uh, I'd probably never try to publish it or anything, but it's basically, like, the first major finished work I've, I've done, and, uh, it's formatted and everything, but anyway, what I wanted to talk about with this was, it's 40 pages, if you are interested in reading it, please note it's only a manuscript thing, there's no copyright on it, so in theory, you can steal some of the work. Please don't. I mean, that's just a low-down, dirty thing to do. Just don't. If you have an idea or something you got from it and you want to use it, I mean, by all means, sure. But ask me. Please let me know. And I'm fine with it. That's all. You know, and like I said, it's not copyright, so don't, you know, just low-down, dirty, steal it. But just tell me. I'm cool with it. Uh, although there's probably not really anything you'll, you'll find unless you're like, hey, you know what, I could write something very similar to that. You know, are you cool with that? You know, you think that's a good idea? Just tell me, I want to write something similar. But anyway, um, 
if you're interested in reading it, let me know. Uh, uh, you can leave a comment saying that you want to read it, and I'll send you a message or send me a message here on YouTube. Uh, but basically, and, and don't leave this in a comment because, I mean, it's your personal information. And, you know, I don't want some random stalker or hacker or something to get it and try to do something with it. So in a private message is what this information would be in, whether it's I message you back from a comment or you just message me. I need your email. That way I can send it to you because I don't want to put it up for public download. So I would send it via email only. And it is a Word file, so you do have to be able to read it. You do have to be willing to read it. It does not have to be right now, you know, but read it soon, hopefully. Take your time on it, whatever. But do read it. Um, and I would want feedback. You know, I'd, I'd want your name, at least your first name. You don't really have to give me your last name. You can give me last initial if you want, whatever. I'm not going to use it for anything. I'm just going to keep it for, uh, if I do decide to publish it or anything, I'd like to know where my feedback came from. So, uh, or be able to give you credit for reading it. You know, some of my first feedback would be thanks to you guys. So, you know, like your name. Um, if you want to give me maybe what city or state you're from, or maybe if you're one of my viewers from out of country, you can leave me, you know, what country you're from, maybe what province or what town or whatever you live in. Um, and if there's any other details that you'd want to leave me about you that, you know, maybe, maybe you're a local critic for something you do. Maybe you're a journalist. Maybe... Maybe you've written a book. I don't know. You know, just something like that. But I want feedback. What do you think of it? Uh, is there anything that you think should be taken out? Maybe maybe it's not necessary. Maybe something you think would be a little too... Uh, just something bad in there that you're like, nah, you know, someone probably... It would be offensive to somebody or something. Just let me know. Um, I'll be honest with you. I have not read it since I wrote it. I've read it after I wrote it, of course. But I have not read it since... It's been in a folder uh, ever since, so, you know. And, uh, again, it's 40 pages, so it's a bit of a read. It's not that long, but it's definitely a bit of a read. So if you want to read it, I mean, by all means, please let me know. I, I would love to send it to some people to check out. All right. Uh, and the final thing, I'm sorry if I sound like a little boring. I guess I kind of am. Uh, right now it's 6 o'clock or 6 p.m., and... Uh, I'm a bit tired, not because I had a long day, but because I've been out in the sun for a while, and that makes me tired. But anyway, so my fourth and final thing is, it has to do with World of Warcraft, and uh, I joined a new guild on my Pelly, and I, I mean brand new guild. Their name is Mad Skill. it's on the same realm, US Stormrage Alliance side, and they're new, they want to start raiding next week, they raid Thursday, or... You know, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, for four hours. Um, and uh, they want to go 7 out of 7 in Firelands every single week, starting the first week, hopefully. It might not happen, but they would really like to shoot for that. That's what they're shooting for, not, oh, maybe 4 or 5. No, all the way. Uh, the leader has experience in all of it, and he ran a heroic Zandalari random with my pally as a tank, and I wanted to see what I could do. He's happy with my tank, pretty much. Um, knows that I do need a couple upgrades, and, and he understands where I'm coming from. Uh, and I also let him know about me starting college and everything, and he just started college last week as well. So he's like, that's cool, man. We're in the same boat. So, and, you know, I totally get it. Um, so he's pretty cool. I, I think I'm going to like it. And uh, we'll go from there. But it's only on my pally. So that'll be where my rating is, because I just did not have enough interest on in the guild. And to... Those subscribers who did manage to join and wanted to come over and made a death knight or whatever they did, um, the guild's not going anywhere. It's still going to be owned by Vera Baran, my shaman, and I'm still going to play on my shaman a lot. But it's not going to be a hardcore guild, it's just going to be a casual guild. Um, so I'll still be recruiting for the casual side of it, not a raiding side, and we'll see if we can't get it leveled up. You know, that's the main goal, I guess, now. And, uh, and see where it goes, you know? just get some casual, friendly people. That's what it'll be. And, uh, yeah, so, I mean, that still means we, we still need officers and all that kind of stuff, but it doesn't mean you're a raid leader or anything. It just means you're an officer. You help if there's any drama that might perk up and you're like, wait a minute, you know, that shouldn't be said. Uh, you know, don't, don't talk like that. That's very rude. 
to something like that, you know, let them know, hey, that's kind of rude, would you please avoid saying something like that, or you see one of the members in trade saying something rude, hey, you know, you represent the guild, you know, you have the guild tag, please don't talk like that in trade, you know, anything like that, it, it goes all, all across the spectrum of, of, of conversation and context, but uh, it's just a matter of, of managing a couple of things, but it's nothing too serious. I just don't want the guild to look bad because somebody decided to be a rotten apple and spoil the bunch. Um, but that's about it. So this has been Day 13, Saturday, September 3rd, 2011. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's about it. I just wanted to talk about those, even though only, like, really one thing is talking about school. Just because it kind of, it fits in with everything else going on right now. So, alright guys, thanks for watching, please be sure to thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video tomorrow, where hopefully I won't sound as boring and tired, and uh, we'll, we'll go from there. Alright guys, see you in tomorrow's video.